about 12 years ago, the um, American Jewish World Service uh, established a uh, program that uh, was meant to uh, secure uh, a uh, cultural community in the former Soviet Union. It was really a brilliant project uh, because instead of just encouraging emigration, instead of only doing social service projects, uh, the uh, AJWS really looked at uh, the former Soviet Union and said, well, what would uh, really support uh, communities there? And they settled on education and culture. Uh, and so uh, the, uh, when they decided to do this, they literally brought Coles to Newcastle. They brought teachers from the United States who had worked in programs uh, in, uh, in uh, Yiddish uh, uh, teaching uh, and in uh, performance, in arts. Uh, and they brought us to uh, St. Petersburg and to uh, Kiev uh, and, uh, and later to uh, Moscow. Uh, so I remember, um, you know, getting on an Aeroflot plane with uh, Zalman and going to uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, and uh, we had no idea who we were going to find there, but because both of our families had come from, uh, uh, parts of our families had come from places in uh, Russia, we were very uh, excited. Uh, we walk into these uh, classrooms and meet uh, these squads of people who could have been us. Had our families not emigrated, we would have been these people. Um, and we begin to, you know, to teach. Uh, first of all, they're spectacular students. They're spectacular uh, tools for learning and for absorbing. Uh, and, uh, and what the experience was of meeting people with a very... Um, thin thread, but not a broken thread altogether. So they were living in the places where this culture had uh, developed. They had some access to it, but it was really weakened. And, uh, and you felt like you were knitting that thread really delicately back together. The experience that was amazing was the amount of uh, eagerness and off-the-hook joy so I remember that we, um, that we taught the song Spreisig mir, uh, which is a song about a, you know, a guy getting on a horse and going to an inn and uh, uh, w wanting a drink and wa intending to go and buy horses, uh, but, uh, but spending all his money on drink. And the experience coming back was of the room rocking with joy. It's a joyous song, and the amount of uh, of uh, joy in these uh, students, along with uh, enormous discipline, was absolutely, like, took our breath away. Uh, and so we spent a lot of time weeping in these class every so often, uh, but also having this, uh, you know, uh, kind of sucked uh, up with such uh, enthusiasm uh, and energy. Uh, and I've gone back over that period of 12 years to various, uh, to teach at various programs. Uh, after a good, I would say, four years, uh, these people had already turned into Yiddish culture creators. They were writing songs. They were teaching other people. They became, they learned uh, Yiddish from, from scratch. Uh, in, in most cases, became teachers. Some of them became teachers themselves. Uh, and so the, this um, uh, exchange from being able to reseed something. So there are bands and they go to festivals and they've now become our uh, colleagues. And in some cases, again, teachers and, and mentors of uh, others in these uh, uh, programs. That was an enormous uh, gift uh, to, uh, you know, for us to, be, to receive. Uh, and uh, for us to be able to, uh, to give. Um, the model of these programs, which was really based on, on the original uh, uh, kind of Kleskamp uh, model, ha the fact that um, we learned or we developed a way of teaching this music and we've been able to, and culture, and we've been able to uh, pass it on 
uh, through the founding of these other similar kinds of programs uh, means that, uh, that there are these projects which are pretty modest in scale and uh, easily supported, easily translated uh, from one uh, community um, uh, to another. Uh, so they exist now in England and in France and in Germany and in, uh, and uh, and I've taught in these places where sometimes you're teaching all Jews and sometimes you're teaching very few Jews. Uh, in the program in Weimar, there would be two or three stray Jews who would wander into this program, and you're teaching mostly uh, Germans. That's a different kind of uh, exchange, but the um, the ability to open up worlds for uh, for uh, the experience of Yiddish culture uh, and to uh, discover who it is who wants that and who needs it uh, and who is uh, uh, connected to it, who can connect to it, is uh, you know has been a remarkable experience.